Well, before you pick up your cell phone, you may want to make sure your hands are clean. British researchers took a look at what kind of bacteria is on cell phones people use every day, and the results are not typically very pretty. Reporter Lynn Robson shows us what they found in this morning's Health View. Like a lot of us, Shine Khan uses his BlackBerry a lot. He handles it constantly. There's a lot of people that text me and call me. But is all that phone fondling dangerous to your health? After all, we touch our phones after touching, well, you don't want to think about that too much. So it's really no surprise that a British study suggests most cell phones are swimming in bacteria. And the mobile phones is a lovely area for some of the bacteria that we actually started to grow because not only has it heat, because as you know, if you speak on your phone too much, it heats up. In his lab, Dr. Cutler found staphylococci bacteria. So these are naturally on your skin or up your nose, or in this case, on your mobile phone. In most people, staph bacteria will cause nothing more than a cold or upset stomach. But there was much scarier stuff too. These tubes are what we use to start identification of the E. coli. E. coli is fecal matter, and 16% of the phones tested had traces of E. coli, and that can make you very sick. The cause of the bacterial spread everyone visits the loo, but not enough people do this. In fact, although 95% of people studied said they washed their hands with soap, 92% of phones had bacteria, suggesting a lot of people don't realize how often they should wash their hands. Really? Yeah. That can't be. This is crazy. The research suggests we think twice before sharing phones. So first we told students of the bacteria, then asked to borrow their phone. And touch it and put it to my oh, face. Oh, no, no, not anymore. The solution is better hand washing and clean your phone with antibacterial solution or rubbing alcohol. And that was Lynn Robson reporting.